I don't hate these guys. I've extended an olive branch in the past. I've made gestures. And they were justified and we shared calls. But I don't ride with Canadians. They're just here because they got lost. Not allowed to go home. Should have made a left at Winnipeg. You guys don't seem to understand. Is that confronted with the prospect that someone had been protecting me for some time and that might explain all of the misfortune. I, I went to make sure, I went to look into the least unlikely misunderstanding. It was definitely a misunderstanding. Now I, I know there's some other scams going on, but they had me really worried about my normies. They want, they, they got beef. So what'd you do to them? I had no way of knowing what it really was until I got back. Like, yeah, I see the the news getting involved. That was a big sale, is it? Nothing about my normies. No, no grown-ups. Just the news. Maybe I should drop what I'm doing and go. We didn't have agency. So what's the deal? They told you, uh, what? They told you I deserved it under new ownership. Thought you had a, a live one. So you just waste like 15 years of my life. People following, following me around like I owe them something. Why would the doctor feel like that was a sound investment on the judge's mistake? Why won't you take no for an answer? So I gather the, the uh, child psychologists, they were leveraging some big bad bets, wishful thinking. So the new kid in class, has the phrenology of a monkey. And I say, does he look like a monkey? And he just happens to be black. He ends up in a fight. I win. Now I'm a racist behind my back. So that's a bankruptcy, right? Now I'm in my 30s, I'm not racist enough. So I can chart the whole advancement. I mean, what, what am I supposed to do about it? Can't win for losing guys are acting like I did some real crazy shit, like stole some drugs and then called the cops on myself. Did I steal them? Did I, did I sell them? Did I buy them? Did I call the cops on men? Did I call them on me? Did I steal a bike? It's uh, some old, I mean, secret project from like post-World War II, the arms race, and corporate's got them cranked up to 11. So all these years, the indirect encounters were intended specifically for me. I thought that was just generic, you know, just a routine jibber-jabber. I remember when I was a kid on TV, the FBI would say, have you seen this girl? And I'm like, why'd they stop doing that? They were making a, a significant investment in infrastructure. National Defense Authorization Act, as opposed to actual national defense. So I'm here to tell you that you cannot ban waterboarding. I don't care if you already paid for it. Is your team doing it? All right, how are you gonna stop me? Oh, is it a crime? So that's a crime. Says who? Christopher Hitchens? He didn't even get any water up his nose. Said it was torture. Torture is like when they shove bamboo shoots up under your toenails, stick a Coke bottle in your rectum, and show it to you so that for the rest of your life, when you go out, when you go to the marketplace, it reminds you. Torture causes phobia. You never get over it. You don't want to talk? Well, I mean, it's going to feel like you're dying, but torture? I'm, I'm never look at a glass of water again. Christopher Snitchens. Thespians. Actors. Oh, it's torture. I was just born this way. So, Cambridge. They ever figure out where that analytica was coming from? I am a man of initiative, a man of action, a man of results, a man with many questions, many answers, a man of solutions. And believe it or not, I don't like to toot my own horn. This is a life or death situation. My name is Noel D. Smith, single, straight, no kids, never married, no divorces, no bankruptcies, no abominations, no abortions. Formerly decorated so and so with the yada yada triage airframe theology. I've been saying for over 20 years, you know, 
wrap the interim. You don't have to drop what you're doing. Just fix the economy. Who said no? The banks? Why'd you uh, leave in such a hurry? They wanted to know why you were letting Africa just take over whole branches, whole franchise just disappear. And you thought that that was something that we should pay for. Because you're a skinless, boneless chicken. They waited 15 years. Oh yeah, I know they tried to make it look like something. I mean, give a shit what impression you're under. You took 15 years just to convince yourself, just to confuse yourself enough to make a move. Obligated to believe it. I was very confused because, for instance, I knew you were wrong. And why don't you stop? Now that we're all, now that we're clear that you're definitely wrong. Oh, you gave the bank to Africa. mfrodeo.blogspot.com. First, I shall do no harm. And then I'll give all the banks to Africa.